<laughs> like Shun Li on the mic. Combat, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> that was my game. That yeah, was my I game. liked Mortal Kombat too, but I only had one choice of female character on there too, and that was Sonya. Actually, no, I think there might have been two because that was like really progressive. <laughs> yeah, because Sonya had the blonde, ra- blonde ponytail, right? And like a like a deep V cut, like <laughs> like thong yeah. onesie. Yeah, yeah. Because that's practical to fight in. Yeah, you don't have to worry about wedgies. I guess. <laughs> I feel like that would encourage my <laughs> We still haven't talked about what we're going to talk about next. Okay, well, I have to get my notebook anyway. It's yeah. In my bag. Okay. <laughs> give myself a countdown because you can edit. Yes. <laughs> I have to remember. Star Wars Celebration. Oh, okay. because she was like uh, my only your only hope my only hero <laughs> wow and she had like giant legs like giant muscular legs and her arms were like normal sized and I was always like you know what yeah I can do that <laughs> <laughs> I can totally relate to I can do that I can do that and it and she does really cool stuff. And she beats up big guys that are, like, actually also mutants. <laughs> With her spinning bird kick. In today's episode of Yoga Rebels, Jack and I are going to talk about meditation, um, the Vulcans, and the Jedi. Yeah, it goes deep. I know well. Like, I know I could talk about Chun-Li a lot. These are the things that I've been keeping in for a long time. And now they're exploding <laughs> all over our podcast. It's fantastic. <laughs> These are things that I've only, like, yeah, said out loud to certain people, and usually they they glaze over. Or in Jason's case, I, I think that's why he was, like, immediately obsessed with me. He was like, it's like, <laughs> he'll still say that. I'll say something. It's like, it's like you're like a unicorn. <laughs> He's like, I married a hot nerd. (laughs) (laughs) Like, he will occasionally, like, flip out about that. And I'm like, dude, I don't know about the, like, I mean, have you seen what I'm wearing today? I don't know about the hot part. He's like, no, shut up. Stop. In today's episode of Yoga Rebels, we're going to talk about, what are we going to talk about? Meditation. With the Vulcan and the Jedi. Okay. Um, so I do want you to take a look. So my the gal that I worked with yesterday, she's one of my running buddies. She's all Marie Kondo now. So she had us fold the blankets just like this. Oh, I'm afraid to even like look at them yeah. wrong. Well, no, because <laughs> these things stand up on their own. I know. Because we folded them just right. Oh, but I'm wow. going to use one and sit on it. And it's folded <laughs> It's all square. Oh. Like, I would never do that with a yoga mat. Or yeah, I read the book. I read the... Uh, I did, too, and it helped me. It helped me. It helped me emotionally. But, yeah, I definitely don't still fold all my clothes that way. I did get me to roll up a lot of my clothes, and I still do I that. that sucks. I roll all of my pants into, like, a little, like, sushi roll, and then I can fit, like, a billion pair of pants in one drawer. I'm putting my deodorant because I can't tell if it's my. It smells on me. Something smells bad. <laughs> <laughs> there's, is it in your bag? Somebody put their armpits on me. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, like, come here. <laughs> somebody put their armpits on me. I don't know. 
about that? <laughs> <laughs>